This is the last video I'm filming today. I promise. I know y'all probably tired of seeing the same face, same outfit, same makeup. But, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so obsessed with this eye makeup. Um, but that's not what we're here for today. That's not what we're here for today. As you read by the title of the video, we are going to be swatching some Pat McGrath lip glosses today. And I am so excited. Um, so I have the box right here. I have not even opened it yet, but I'm so excited to get into these swatches. So let's, let's do it. Let's open her up. I can already tell though. And if you've seen my previous Pat McGrath videos, you, you know my thoughts about this. I can already tell. We've got the snakes. We've got the snakes again. And they are, they are ready and eager to come out of the box. And I just hate that packaging. I hate it so much. So much. Um, but I'm not going to go on that rant in this video. I just feel that there are better ways that this could be packaged, especially for a luxury brand. And the snakes ain't it. But that's, that's neither here nor there. So we've got our box full of snakes. I'm going to try very delicately to pull the item out of the box without getting these everywhere. Ugh. Okay, and then we're gonna close it. Make sure there's nothing else in here. I didn't, I didn't get anything else. Okay. I was very excited to try these because when I tried the um, Golden Opulence lip gloss collections, um, some of the uh, formulas in here were the Lust Lacquers, um, which I actually really ended up enjoying. So I was excited to try these new Opulust glosses. So I purchased them and I couldn't decide which ones to get. So I got them all. Um, best believe I used her 10% off coupon, but let's just say it was a lot. So let's see if it was worth it. I can tell you right now, it probably wasn't, but I bought it anyway. And I bought it so that you don't have to, unless you want to. You get what I was trying to say. Like I bought it so that you can see what it looks like on me. So that if you have a similar skin tone to me, you can see them on me without having to buy them off our suit. I did this to help to help you really um i'm gonna stop talking now I'm, let's just get into the details pat mcgrath describes the glosses um as the following turn your lips on with a legendary luxury of opulence gloss and eight tantalizing shades this collection of glorious glosses soothe smooth and deliver sensually surreal three-dimensional shine while innovative emollient matrix technology ensures a lightweight feel producing a sparkling move resistant glass-like finish with otherworldly opacity i don't know who writes these but geez they they get it every time sometimes they be going a little extra and i'm like you could tone it down a little bit it's lip gloss it's glittery lip gloss but when you describe it like that, it's just like, oh, okay. Luxury decadence. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like once I got it out of the box full of snaky snakes. And it's not in the sequin packaging, y'all. <laughs> Baby steps. We're one step closer. Um, it's not in the sequin packaging. I was surprised that it was in this packaging though, because this seems like something that you would see like hanging in a in a store. Um, but Sephora doesn't really have packaging like this where they hang up things. So I wondered like, where, where is this going to be sold? Like, where else is this going to be sold that this is the packaging? Anyway, it's neither here nor there. It really does not matter. I just thought that that was an interesting little thing with the packaging. I'm just glad that it's not the sequins. Um, and so on the back, it just says eight opulent shades. It describes all eight shades. Um, it gives the description again. And the shelf life of these is 18 months. Now I'm gonna try and zoom in really quickly to see if you can see the glitter just shining through. Why won't you focus? Why won't you focus, please? Focus. Okay, I think it's as good as we're gonna get, but that's okay, because I'm just gonna get inside them now. Woo, I'm so excited, okay. So now we're just, we're just gonna try them on. 
Oh, which one do I start with? Oh, okay. We're just going to start from one end and work our way over. So the packaging is the same as all the other full-size Pat McGrath. Chili, I am trying to record. Can you please be quiet? Love you. Um, so Pat McGrath's packaging, it is the same as all her other glosses. Um, but can you just take a look at the the shimmer? Like it is jam-packed full of shimmer. This is glowing garnet. So let's just let's just start trying them on. Let's do it. This is the applicator. It is your standard doe foot applicator. Um, and there's a light vanilla scent. Oh, so much glitter and it's everywhere. I can't get it. I can't get it off. So that is all eight of the Opulence glosses. Um, I'm blown away. I didn't know what to expect going in and each gloss is $30 on its own. So it is cheaper to just buy all eight at the same time. Not that I'm saying that you need to. However, when I was looking at the website, I found it hard to decide which one that I wanted. Like I really could not decide on one and then I tried to decide on three and I couldn't do that and the next thing you know even now after trying them all on I still I probably I had my top six um out of eight but I, I still liked the other two um oh Lord, where'd they go but yeah I still like the other two um so the bottom two and like I use that phrase loosely is under your spell and coral liaison or coral liaison um these are what they look like one's a little bit more pink one's a little bit more coral i love these the only issue with these is because they have they're a little bit lighter um they show up a little bit more transparent on my lips so they just looked a little bit streakier um so these would look really good over another lip color they kind of remind me of lime crimes lip toppers but so much better they're so buttery and smooth on the lips i don't feel any of the glitter in these and when i say they are jam-packed full of glitter oh, it's not gonna focus it's not gonna focus they are jam-packed full of glitter um so my top six would be um, the rest of them, obviously. I was blown away by Lavendaring. I thought that this was going to look terrible, um, but it actually looks gorgeous. And I think this one would look great on any skin tone. Um, I also loved Naked Rose. I knew that I would when I saw it online. Naked Rose. 
And then the last one that I just tried on, which was what, Dreamscape? I, <laughs> I love this one. And then these are probably the three darkest shades, which are Glowing Garnet, Venom Mistress, and Bronze Seductress. And I absolutely adore these. So I love them all. And it would have been very hard for me to choose just one of those. They feel so good on the lips to be a glittery lip gloss, but they don't look like obnoxious glitter on your lips. They look more metallic than anything. The only downside to these is as I was swatching them and putting them back on, glitter does kind of transfer, tra what am I trying to say? Glitter travels on your face. So I've got a lot of glitter in this area, which is why I'm not going to get too close. Um, but I'm obsessed with these, especially just, oh, <laughs> they're just so pretty and glittery and I am a sucker for glitter. So anyway, those are the Pat McGrath Opulus glosses. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Which was your favorite shade? Are you thinking about picking up any of them up? Or do you think they're just way too overpriced for a lip gloss? Which they kind of are. Um, <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.